All right, all right. What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode. Today, we are going out into the ultra remote mountains, solo backpacking and fishing, as remote as we have ever gone together. We're gonna have to camp at the trailhead uh, because it's gonna be dark by the time we get there. I'm super excited to share these ones with you. Let's go. There's a trout right there chasing a dragonfly. Oh! That's a fish on, baby. a spot here where there's a little little creek over the road <laughs> look at how gorgeous this is up in my camper van to the sound of like cowbells everywhere oh check this out I think they're mules I don't know exactly is a mule like a horse donkey donkey horse Crazy, they're everywhere. There's like 10 of them here or something. I don't even know. I gotta, I gotta go out and assess the situation. But first, let's make some coffee. <laughs> Morning there, Mr. Horse Mule Donkey thing. Hello. Hello, how, you know, how's it going? <laughs> I don't really have a plan here. All I know is there's a lot of lakes up there with fish in them. I don't know how long I'm gonna be in the mountains. I really, I don't need to be back by any certain time. I've got a satellite messenger so I can let people know at home like when I feel like being home. Oh man, I love my coffee. Doesn't look great anymore, but that was once a delicious King Belit. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for those babies. But we do have some legit food here too that's ready for the picking. Mm. Some animals in the bushes. Just filled with berries out here in the woods. Wild raspberries is what those things taste like. Might have been that party we had up there. They were hiking out. Do you know what I'm saying? They were missing a pole. So we've gained probably about a thousand feet in elevation already. Doing good so far. Still looking for those king bullets. Man, this mountain's kicking my butt, guys. <laughs> but that won't stop me from wishing a young fan a happy birthday. A little birdie told me that it was Corbin's 11th birthday here on September 4th. Bro, you're gonna be paying taxes soon. Obviously with all the craziness going on, this isn't the easiest time to have a birthday, but I'm sure you still had a great time. So all of us, let's go ahead and drop a comment. Say happy birthday to Corbin. Happy birthday, buddy. This one's for you. Look at this guy's, this little guy right here. It's a bolete, a little baby. 
and be perfect if it were a king bolete, but it is a closely related bolete. And there's two of them, one's edible, and one is like edible, but it might give you a sore stomach. So I can't tell exactly which one it is. So we're gonna leave it. Or if you're foraging for any food, not just mushrooms, berries, whatever, if you don't know what it is, just leave it. We're getting really close to the lake. I can smell the lake. Check this out. Now that we've gotten higher in elevation, you can see how everything starts thinning out a little. The trees start growing a little smaller. Just my kind of kind of landscape. If you guys are wondering why I like this kind of stuff, why am I out here? Well, it's because I just love being in nature. Love sharing this stuff with you guys. Our brains just need this. We need to get out and just get away from all the weird stuff in the cities. Oh. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this lake. The water is just absolutely crystal clear. We've got that big rock wall coming straight down to the water over there. I feel like fish might be holding in those boulders there. This is, I, I'm, man, I'm speechless, guys. This is, this is the kind of stuff you find when you're out in nature. Just exploring a little. Ooh. Okay, I really, really, really want to fish this. I mean, we would see any fish swimming in there. We would see any follow. That was really cool. I'm not seeing any fish yet. So this rod here, it's a five foot uh, Akuma Salilo, which lets me take this baby out backpacking. It breaks down into two pieces, which is super rare for a short rod like that. Uh, for the reel, I just use a little Cast King Summer 500. What I'll just do is I'll just leave the links uh, to all the gear I use in the video description. Where if you guys need to pick up a nice little backpack and set up, you'll know exactly what I'm using. We're gonna use the little 25 ACP bullet lure. This little guy here is ready for, for action. I definitely saw a massive trout jump over there. So hopefully they're kind of moving around. Trout are usually always moving. So hopefully they'll circle this way and we can catch one here. If not, then we can also move over there. All right, here we go. First cast, baby. Oh my goodness. That bullet lure looked so happy going out there. Oh, he's just flashing around in the water like a happy little boy. There he goes. Look at him. Wind's kind of blowing our way, so it's a little tough to cast against the wind, um, especially with a smaller rod. That's the one drawback of a small rod like this, is it's a little, little tougher to cast. Well, that's where that bullet lure makes up for it because it's nice and heavy. Oh, 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 oh. We had a follow. Follow on the second cast. That was, that was cool. That was a small trout. Definitely a small one. Oh, a dragonfly is going after the lure. <laughs> okay, come on, baby. Come on. Where's the biggins? Oh, yeah, right on those rocks there. Come on. Come on, let's give him something to chase. Do you guys just see that giant fish jump way in the background? See, there were two of them back there too. I saw one jump and then the other one fully breached out of the water. So I'm not seeing, I mean, we'll keep fishing here a little bit, but we might not need to work our way over there. I'm starving. I still haven't had any breakfast besides the berries that we ate on the way up. Ooh, big fish just surfaced way out there. Dang, maybe we need to throw on a bigger bullet lure, like a 9 mil version. Yeah, I'm one of those guys that licks his wrappers. <laughs> so we're just going to keep on moving along the shore here of this lake. Uh, I want to fish this area back here. This looks really beautiful. It's like a little, little bay that might hold a lot of like amphibians and insects that these trout might be going after. So these boulders right there in front of me in the water, that's kind of what you guys want to be casting at if you're at these mountain lakes. Find the boulders because around those boulders, that's where those trout like hiding out there. Uh, it's just a perfect ambush position for them. Come on, man, right in there, right in there. Big old deep hole there. It's gotta have some fish.
Now let's go ahead and try this spot out over here. Oh, I did see a big one over here somewhere. Oh yeah, here we go. Whew, a big one just followed it. Really big one followed it. Oh man, that got me. That got me goosebumps, guys. I literally got to got to shake that off real quick. Oh. Oh, we had a bite. We had a bite. Oh. Man, come on. Oh, that wasn't even fair. It bit and I could see the flash of the fish there for a second, but he popped right off, didn't hook up. Oh, man. Okay, that's exciting. So now we know that they're biting the bullet lure. That's really... Oh. That went from really exciting to just a, just a tad less exciting. It's still exciting. Damn, that was really stupid. I hit the rock behind me and snapped off the lure. Well, that happens. Maybe we'll switch to a bobber we'll, we'll think about it no decisions have been made yet oh, it's getting exciting man it's getting exciting oh uh, okay i'm gonna throw on the the 25 acp bullet lure again i think that's probably gonna be our best bet right now since they are actively following actively biting let's do it i've got a good feeling we're gonna do the backhand cast right onto a fish Come on. All right, all right. Didn't want it on the first one, I understand that. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish, baby. Oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Oh, we got us a chubby, chubby little trout. My goodness, look at you, a little bit small, not tiny by any means. We're just gonna wet our hand because we're gonna release this guy here. Come here, buddy, come here. Oh, oh, oh really? Just look at how healthy this trout is. It is so, so thick. We're gonna try and keep him in the water here, get that hook out and let him go because there's bigger ones. He wasn't hooked that bad. Let him breathe for just a second. Red trout are pretty fragile fish, so if you're gonna release them, we just wanna make sure that they swim off okay. There we go. Look at that fish. All right, he could not resist the bullet lure. <laughs> Did it once again. Thank you, baby. All right, he was kinda like borderline where I would've kept him. Just a, a one more inch and we would've kept him. With my luck, there's a very good chance that now we won't catch anything anymore. So I'm hoping that when we catch one of those, the big ones, that they're just like, just an obese monster trout. Heck yeah, man, that, that feels freaking amazing to, to catch one. All right, so we're heading over to where the big fish keep surfacing. Of course, I've gotta carry all my gear. <laughs> I think this is it, check this out. Nice rock to stand far out on. This is where all those big ones have been uh, been popping. So, oh yeah, lots of rocks here. This is, this is the spot, man. Jeez, look at this, come on. We should be in casting distance now, so I'm getting really excited. There's also a campsite like right here. So I, I wasn't planning on camping at this lake, but I don't know, I don't care. We have no plan. We can do whatever we want, right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and just make it cast. Oh, the, I, I couldn't even start reeling and we already hooked up into something. <laughs> what the heck just happened? That felt good too, damn. So there's a lot of fish right here, but we only have so many chances to hook up on these fish before they all get spooked. So if we hook a few and lose them, then we might not be able to catch these anymore. So uh, it's counting is what I'm saying. I'm fishing right there fishing right there and we've got more more of these huckleberries mm, just growing everywhere mm, mm. you guys know it's getting serious when life throws on some swim trunks he's getting comfortable he's got his solar out right there charging my uh, my batteries for all the cameras and stuff let's go ahead and set up the tent while it's still nice out 
This is a pretty darn good spot. What do you guys think? View of the lake right there. All right, come on. I always love doing that. All it needs is uh, your trekking poles as the tent pole, so it's super convenient. And then you just push the stakes all the way in the ground. There we go. And I just want to make sure that we're actually like level here. Oh man, now I can't get up. You always want to make sure when you're setting up your tent that you're level. Otherwise, even if you think like it's not that bad, you just start randomly slipping. I don't know if your body just like takes off and floats or something like that. Either way, you want it level. Otherwise, you'll find yourself like bunched up in a corner of your tent and very uncomfortable. And that's how the tent is held up with my trekking poles. Oh yes, 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 yes. This is, oh, this is the life right here, man. Again, link in the video description to all of the gear that I'm using here. Not sponsored by these guys. It was just like a great deal I found on Amazon and it's my like my fourth time out with it. Has not popped, has not leaked. Love this darn thing. All right, in she goes. A little breezy out, a little breezy. Just wanted to have the tent set up just while it's still nice out. Now we're gonna go out and try and catch another fish. Hell yeah, man. So I just saw another fish surface right there. We've still got our little 25 ACP bullet lure on there. Oh man, we got uh, we got an underwater camera there now too. So we're gonna have a nice aqua view of what's going on. Oh, right where those fish are, right where they are. Come on, baby, come on. Oh, big trout, big trout, big trout. I'm sure you guys can see him on the camera. Come on, come on. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on. Oh, he looked at it. Uh, the lure, they see it, but it kind of, it intrigues them, but they're not committing to it. We already got one on the bullet lure. So what I might try and do uh, is give them some bait. Let's, let's try with some bait. I think that might be the ticket here. So this guy's here is just our little slip float. I've got the bobber stop right here, a bead, the float, another bead, swivel down to the four pound fluoro leader with some spaced split shot. Then at the bottom, we're using one of these little, like a panfish hook, an Aberdeen style hook. Uh, these things have just have a really good hookup ratio. There's a trout right there chasing a dragonfly. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Did you see that? <laughs> You see that trout just grab that dragonfly out of the air. Man, that was cool. Damn, that was awesome. I'm gonna see if I can't catch one. Cause after seeing what happened to that one dragonfly, I have no doubt that a trout would go crazy over another one. Lots of dragonflies right here. Oh, I almost had them. They just, they keep buzzing right by here. Come on, dude, I'm just a tree. Oh, he's right there, he's right there. They are not easy to catch. Check this little guy out. We got us a little, a little buddy here. <laughs> buddy, say hello to everyone. Everyone, hello to Mr. Frog. What happens if we... <laughs> uh, you have a great day, little guy. We don't want to eat you. <laughs> Maybe we can find a dragonfly larva under some of the stuff laying in the water. Oh, there is. That's a dragonfly larva. This is some of the best trout bait in the world. This little guy here, he's a little small. That's okay. Oh, it's an adult. There he is, there he is, there he is, come on. Missed him. There's a good one. So we're just gonna take that big one though. We're just gonna like throw him. Right on that hook like that. All right, it's serious business. We've got a dragonfly larva on the hook under a bobber. Oh, and there's a trout right there. 
All right, come on, come on. This is business time. Total business time. I know that these trout are munching on dragonflies and they're always munching on the larva. Come on, baby. Oh, there's a trout right there. And we're on. That's a fish on, baby. I knew it right away. That took less than a minute right there to happen. <laughs> That's a good fish too. That's a good fish. That's a bobber down. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh, 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 now he realizes he's hooked. Oh. All right, baby, come here. Come on, baby. Come here. Come here. Oh, that's a beautiful fish, guys. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Come here, come here. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, we got him. <laughs> yes. yes, oh my goodness, he's beautiful. He's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> he got food. Oh, he, he just, he, I mean, he saw that dragonfly larva and he was like, come on, he's a big one. That's a monster. This is a good trout. So you can see this guy here got hooked right in the top of the mouth there. <sighs> Love those little hooks. Let's go ahead and take a look at this trout. This is a monster. So I think like the best way that we can say thank you to this fish uh, for providing food for us is just, let's just put him out of the misery right away. First thing, there we go. He's out. Just want to make sure that he's in no way suffering. That is one heck of a fish. Everything in me is saying rainbow, but I'm not seeing the typical rainbow spots. He's almost spotless. He has just a couple spots on the tail there, but that's it. Then he's got that beautiful, beautiful pink stripe down the middle there. My goodness, look at that fish. Buddy, thank you so much, man. Let's take a little look here if my solar filled up my battery. Oh, we're almost there. There's something very satisfying about harnessing the energy of the sun and turning it into electricity and a battery. <laughs> so this is a new water filter that I picked up. Uh, it's a Sawyer water filter. You unscrew that. Now you've got this bag here that probably is a bit of a pain to fill up with water, but then you just drink from the bag. First time using this thing. All right, so you just swish it around a little bit. Screw this little guy right on here. The cool thing is that that fitting there is the same as like a plastic uh, Coke bottle. So you could even use one of those. Mm. All right, I'm gonna fill my water bottle. So I just threw a Carolina rig on this pole now that we're gonna fish just while we start cooking up our fish. Uh, the way that that works is you've got your main line that you've got a sliding lead weight on. Then you've got a little bead then you've got your swivel, and then you've got your leader. We're gonna use the same exact type of hook. Then for bait, we're gonna make a trout pill. Time for the trout to swallow his pills. <laughs> You're gonna take just a couple of these nuggets here. You're gonna slide one up on the hook like that. Throw it on the line, actually. And then you know what, we're just gonna use kind of half of another one. Then what we're gonna do Let's grab a little worm here, and we're just gonna pinch a tail. And what the tail's gonna do is add this to our power bait presentation, just making a little more, make it a little more attractive. Kind of mold that all together. There we go. So the cool thing about that power bait is that it floats. See that right there? And what you want on these leaders when you're bottom fishing with power bait is probably about three feet uh, just to get that presentation off the bottom. There we go. And all we're gonna do is just add a little bell just so we can hear if something happens. There's a trout swimming around out there. There's definitely a fish out there still. Oh, we got one. Is he still there? Oh, yeah. 
We missed him, dang. Let's cast that out there again, same spot. super exciting though. I, that's one thing about bottom fishing that I love is just fishing with a bell. Oh, there's one taking it. Definitely one down there. <laughs> I saw him. He's really small though. Oh, we're, we're getting bit. Oh. Is he still there? I might have missed him. Oh no, we got him. Do we? I think he's a little guy. <laughs> oh, he was just taking a little break there. There we go. Ah. Come here, buddy. Yeah, let's see if <laughs> let's see if we can save him. Otherwise, he'll be food as well. Here, let me just give this one shot. Ah. Nah, yeah, he's he's bleeding. Yeah, he's not gonna make it. So we're gonna we're just gonna bonk him. There we go. So whenever you're gutting a trout, just start right down here by the butthole. There we go. One thing I always like to do is just take a quick peek at what they're eating. Ooh, look at that. Just a bunch of uh, like black bugs. Lots and lots and lots of black bugs. Looks like mosquitoes or something. Thanks, man, for eating all the mosquitoes. Then with a little trout, what I'll just do is score the head like this. And then you can just rip the head off. Ooh, there's our power bait. <laughs> and then look at that, all the... The guts just come right off with it. And then what we'll just do is we'll place the uh, guts right down here. And we're going to see if some crawdads show up tonight. I don't know if they will. Maybe. And that dark stuff back there, that's the fish's kidneys. All you got to do is score that with the knife. Take your finger. Push it right out. Now this is the one where I want to know what's in his belly. How did you get so big? Damn, this thing's sharp. That's a new little toy I've been playing with. A Leatherman. No wonder these fish are doing so good up here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. There's this dragonfly after dragonfly coming out of here. Look at all these dragonflies. I wonder if this is the dude that jumped out of the water and grabbed that dragonfly out of midair. Kind of make a nice forward cut, get right behind those collars there because there's a lot of meat on this fish. We're not gonna let anything go to waste. Rip the head off. And look at all the guts just come right off with the head. And look at that, we got a little bit of, little bit of pink going here. That's pretty good. Ooh, man, like butter. Sometimes I find it a lot easier to actually fillet a fish with a pocket knife than a fillet knife. I don't know why that is. So one thing I completely forgot to bring was any type of fork or spoon. So we're just gonna have to like make one real quick. Got a little spoon, <laughs> oh, not bad. So we're gonna be using a couple stoves today. This is a solid fuel stove uh, made by Espit. So these little tablets here, you just set them right in there. Uh, and then all we're gonna use that one for is just to boil some water. Throw in a little bit of butter. We're just gonna mix in a little bit of olive oil. And what we're gonna do is just throw in a little bit of, a little bit of onion. 
Use our little spoon, spatula, fork, thing, multi-tool. Oh, I'm getting the... Get out of my face, onion. <laughs> All right, time for the, the main course here. I just want to like take a moment to appreciate this beautiful, beautiful fish that we're going to get to eat now. Thanks, buddy. I'm going to put them in the pan here now. Skin side down first for optimum crunch. Water's ready for the potatoes. Oof. Just a little taste. Oh, so hot. Mm. Oh, damn, that hits the spot. Alright guys, only seasoning we're going to use for that fish It's just our Danish sea salt There we go oh, We've been sweating a lot today We're not going to be shy Remember, this isn't just sodium This is all kinds of goodness Alright, that might have been a little much Might have been a little much You can go back in the bag Oh man, yeah, I think he's ready Oh my goodness, look at that. The skin on there is just so nice and crunchy looking and the scales kind of flaked up like panko crust. We're just gonna like set this down here to stay warm. We're just gonna use this stove here to just roast a tortilla. Just unfold a little bit of extra flavors. That's looking really good. Oh yeah. We're gonna just throw in a little bit of avocado. Save of the century right there. Just a little bit of cheese on here. Oh man, here we go. Oh man, look at that little, little fin there. Mm, so crispy. Yeah, we're gonna eat the fin. Mm, here comes filet number one. Look at that beautiful pink meat. I just wanted to try one piece. Oh. Damn, that's really good. So the only thing we're going to throw in is just a little tiny bit of this chipotle kicker sauce here. We're going to be super, super gentle. I don't want to overdo it here. This fish has so much good flavor by itself. Oh, I, geez, I almost forgot the onions. How dare I? If I may say so, this looks like a masterpiece to me. And what I'm most excited about is that I still have multiple days out here in the woods. I'm going to one more beautiful, beautiful lake. Like if you think this lake is beautiful, just wait till you see the next one. It's gonna be in the next episode though. Let, let, let's dig into this, come on. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's going to so crispy. Mm. That cheese and the avocado just adds such a good element of creaminess. The fish has so much flavor and all we did was season it with some salt. And then those onions, they give it that nice earthy undertone. It was pretty damn awesome. Hey, Mr. Chipmunk, do you want any potatoes? No. All right, his loss. Oh man. This is where it's at right here. All right, I'm just finishing up a couple more wraps and uh, then I'm gonna get some shut eye because tomorrow's gonna be a long day. Kind of a sketchy hike to get to that next lake. I need to be well rested for that. Pay attention to the bobber now. Munch it, munch it, munch it. There we go, that's a fish, baby. Well, you'll see in the next episode. So remember, if you guys aren't already subscribed, feel free to subscribe, that way you guys don't miss it. Give the video a like, drop a comment below, all the good old YouTube stuff, and we'll see all of you guys for that next adventure. And until then, you all know it, fish on, baby.